Always expect that this question will be asked to you and have a couple of pointers in your mind. Always make sure that inside your answer, you have a very dedicated and keen interest on the products and the services the company that you're interviewing for is actually working. Then they also know that, okay, this candidate is going to uh, join the corresponding company. So you need to make sure that you uh, like simulate your answers in a particular way for that. A direct correlation on the amount of impact that you are actually creating for the corresponding company. Try to make your answer look more positive oriented you need to make sure that you have some concrete backed reasons why you are actually leaving your last organization altogether what happened to your last role or why you have left your last role because of business readjustments because of reprioritization of business needs our whole division was impacted so you can actually tell that okay i made sure that whatever knowledge whatever i would say skills i got working in a fintech or an edtech company i am able to apply to my new set of roles i was learning more things around maintaining the scalable codes so your interviews went really well but why are you leaving your last job this is one of those questions that you are going to definitely get if you are actually applying for a tech role and uh, assuming the fact that you are switching from an existing tech role to a new one because a lot of times in your bar raiser rounds managerial rounds HR rounds culture fit rounds people will actually ask you or the interviewers are going to actually ask you that why are you leaving your last job what are the reason why you are actually making a switch and a lot of time people actually fumble in these questions they actually perform really well in the tech interviews but when they are actually asked these kind of behavioral questions they tend to actually fumble a lot so in this particular video i'm going to give you a couple of points which are going to be crisp and we, that are going to really help you in actually formulating your answers whenever you are in a situation when people actually ask you why are you leaving your last job so without any further ado, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel. We are going to put a lot of awesome content around tech and career coming up ahead on this channel. So let's just start. So before moving forward in the video, I have an important announcement for you. So if you're somebody who is actually willing to learn advanced backend technologies, then this is going to be the right platform for you. So at AlgoCamp, we have launched our new flagship Lambda 4.0 Advanced Live Backend Development Batch in which you are going to learn advanced backend technologies including Fastify, ExpressJS, AWS, Mongo, DynamoDB and whatnot. This is going to be a power packed course in which we are going to take you from the very scratch, very basics of backend technologies to the very advanced level by building a lot of interesting projects. We are going to build projects like Code Sandbox Clone. We are going to build streaming app, which, which will include recorded movie streaming plus live streaming as well. We are going to make applications like Booking.com backend, which is going to help you understand transactional capabilities, integrations of payment gateways, and many more. All the important projects that we are going to cover in the course is going to be listed here. And this is going to be an absolute live course where we are going to take live classes Right, And in these live classes, we are going to do hands-on coding experience to learn all the important advanced backend technologies. You already know that backend is something that every important application needs and you can actually excel your software engineering career with these backend tech in the Node.js stack. So what are you waiting for? All the important links, the complete syllabus, curriculum, all the details of the course is present in the description section below. You can use the coupon code coming up here to get maximum discount off on the current price. I'm really excited for the course. I hope you guys are too. And now let's get back to the video. Now, the most important thing that you have to keep in mind is always expect that this question will be asked to you and have a couple of pointers in your mind. So there might be two to three situations why you are leaving your current job. First, a lot of time people have a preference on the location because let's say they are setting up uh, like their family is shifting somewhere, they're having a new family arrangement somewhere or they want to migrate from one place to another. They want to look for a switch uh, outside the country and these kind of location preferences people generally have, right? If you have these kind of preferences, then it is a very good opportunity to tell it straightforward that as of now, due to these reasons, due to these family commitments and everything, I am looking for a location shift and in my current company, as of now there is no opportunity to actually do a location switch altogether that's why i'm keen uh, like i this is one of the reasons why i'm looking for a switch always make sure one thing that you do not formulate your answer in a way that it only looks like that okay you are you want a location switch that's why you are interviewing for the company always make sure that inside your answer you have a very dedicated and keen interest on the products and the services the company that you are interviewing for is actually working 
and the location shift is kind of like an add-on. Use this point as an add-on so that it actually ref reflects that, okay, you were not having like a lot of problems with your last org, but this is kind of like a driving factor why you started interviewing for a couple of companies and when you have actually cleared most of the interviews and you are in the final stage of the current company, this driving factor is going to uh, like actually help you in uh, making your final decision concrete and actually making you finally join the company as well. Because a lot of time the recruiters in the HR are in the dilemma that maybe this person will join or not. But you have a if you have a very strong case like this where you you have a location preference and you are actually moving then they also know that okay this candidate is going to uh, join the corresponding company so they also put their bets at the right place so this is one thing that you can uh, technically try to do or there might be a, a scenario where let's say you were not very much satisfied with the work that you're doing in the last org or the compensation that you were getting in your last organization or the last company was not at par up, uh, as per your expectations, right? So you need to make sure that you uh, like simulate your answers in a particular way for that. You can tell something like, uh, at this point of time in my current organization, there have been a lot of reorganizations that have been done. The lot of business requirements have changed because of which uh, like the current priorities on the project that we were working have changed due to which the type of work that we are getting is not challenging enough and it's not using your complete skill set which you already have and you want to make sure that you work with projects that are impactful enough and you are able to also make a good career progression out of it right apart from that you can also tell the point very in a very subtle way that if you will not be working on very impactful projects in your current org then your upcoming salary hikes are going to be eventually affected because salary hikes are definitely a direct correlation on the amount of impact that you are actually creating for the corresponding company so you can formulate your answers in a way around the fact that your current project is not the most impactful project based on your skill set it might be impactful for somebody else but for your interest and your skill set this might not be the best place for you to actually work for and it happens with people right you work for some place for let's say one year or two years and then you realize let's say the tech stack the overall culture the type of delivery the amount of code uh, i would say maintenance uh, all of the code practices that they are actually having is not aligning with your thoughts and it's absolutely okay different different companies have different different thought process so this becomes kind of like a more positive oriented answer that okay you are doing good in the org but because of business requirements because because of reorganization that have been done in your team there is a lot of restructuring that has been done and now the project that you are working on is not that impactful and you have already communicated that with your higher leads and managers but looks like this project is going to stay uh, with you for a longer period of time and it's going to impact the overall performance and the overall career progression that's why you are technically looking for a shift try to make your answer look more positive oriented you, you should not say that okay the current job that i'm having is uh, like a pretty bad one i have a bad salary here i'm looking for a salary jump that's why i am applying for this company everybody knows that you are looking for a salary jump it's absolutely okay to look for a salary jump but when you say something it should not actually look like the only reason that you are making a shift for is a salary jump you need to make sure that you have some concrete backed reasons why you are actually leaving your last organization altogether a lot of times if you are interviewing for a new role sometimes what happens is that you have been laid off or let's say uh, some reorg happened and you have been actually uh, relieved from your role and then you are actually uh, interviewing for new companies at that point of time also a lot of people will ask you that okay what happened to your last role or why you have left your last role because they might not be already knowing that you have been laid off right and this is a question a lot of students also ask a lot of viewers on the channel also ask that let's say if we were laid off and there is a career gap how we should explain that so always make sure that you are ready for this particular particular question and you can tell this in a particular way that because of business readjustments because of reprioritization of business needs our whole division was impacted most of the people were actually let go and i was also one of those and i made sure that i used that as an opportunity to upskill myself i took some time i took uh, let's say one one and a half month uh, like off and tried to make sure that i upskill myself and i try to apply for newer roles which align with my current skill set for example let's say you have been working in fintech or let's say you have been working in edtech and the company that you have applied for is also a fintech or an edtech company so you can actually tell that okay i made sure that whatever knowledge whatever i would say skills i got working in a fintech or an edtech company i am able to apply to my new set of roles and i made sure that based on the current industry demands i was also studying and uh, getting some time off 
so that I can improve on my skill sets. Let's say you are uh, looking for a tech role, so you can tell that okay, I was also learning more things around designing scalable systems. I was learning more things around maintaining the scalable codes, learning low-level design, etc. Right? This actually tells that okay, despite the fact that you were laid off, you have a positive attitude. You are actually looking the uh, layoff as an opportunity to upskill yourself and applying for an even better role. Right? Don't worry if you have a career gap. Sometimes you have a career gap because you are preparing for some other type of exams. Try to be very straightforward about that. Okay, I was a pair uh, like trying to set up a business of my own. I was trying to let's say try something around the influencer part of my because I let's say have uh, let's say an Instagram uh, channel or a YouTube channel where I wanted to actually explore and give it some dedicated time. But I felt that my complete skill set is majorly oriented towards tech, and this is something that I find very very uh, I would say interesting. And I want to spend the remaining time uh, doing a tech work only. So you can tell everything that you have been doing. Just make sure that it shows that you were not wasting time, or let's say you were laid off, and then you were sitting back and relaxing for like let's say last six months, and you have not upskilled yourself, you have not utilized your time because every time there should be some dedication that should show up in your answer, some positiveness that should show up in your answer. If you will keep both of these things that we have talked about in your mind, you will definitely be able to shape up your answers in a more positive tone. Also, what you can do is you can use tools like uh, ChatGPT or Gemini, and you can try to formulate an answer before your interview. Give that to ChatGPT and ask that okay, what's the tone that you are able to sense from my answer? A lot of time it happens that you might feel that okay, it's a very positive answer, but there is a tone of let's say negligence altogether there. So you can actually try to reform or I would say repolish your answer based on what companies you are actually interviewing for. Also, one final tip that I always give to people is do a good research on what the company does to whom you are actually interviewing for. Because if you actually add these pointers also that the areas or the business impact that the current company is actually making, you are also interested to work in those sectors. For example, you have been working in fintech for let's say last seven years, and now you want to change uh, your interest and you want to explore things around healthcare. And the company you are interviewing for is also doing like crazy things in healthcare. They have some newly lined up projects for healthcare if you have done that much amount of research it adds a lot of weight in your answer and then people will actually kind of like start moving away from what you were doing in your last job and try to get more interested towards what you can do in your next job altogether so again it's all about how you navigate your rounds it's all about how you navigate your answers i hope this video was useful for most of the people who are actually interviewing for different different tech roles and again if you have some other points that maybe i have missed or there is something that you always keep in your mind while formulating your answers like these do let me know in the comment section below i would be happy to answer all of your questions and i will definitely react to a couple of interesting answers in case you have any that being said let's wrap this particular video here we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we are going to continue our discussion on tech and career Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.